Hey, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I connected this AI agent to go high level so that it can not only qualify your leads for you, but it can also check the availability in your calendar and then go ahead and create the booking. So it's extremely powerful. Now I'm going to show you how this actually works. So we're going to send an initial text just saying, hey, I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. So now this is AI having this conversation with me. So I'm going to say I'd like to book an appointment. So it's going to, so now it's asking what date and time works best for me. Now I did test this prior and it asked a bunch of qualification questions that we had set, such as what can you tell me about your business? What are you looking to automate? What's your monthly revenue? And are you willing to invest in yourself? So typically the AI is going to qualify and we have qualification criteria to see if we're a good fit to work together. In this case, since I've, I've already tested it, it's jumping straight into what date and time works best for me. So now I just ask, can we do tomorrow at 11 a.m.? And in a second, it should respond back with this meeting has been successfully booked. So what's happening here? There you go. The meeting's been booked. Took all of a few seconds. Meeting's now been scheduled. You'll receive an email with the details shortly. And if we look at the executions, what happened was it hit our check availability endpoint to see if it's free. You can see here, these are the slots that were available that it returned with. And then after that, it went ahead and created the booking at that specific time. So it's extremely powerful. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly step by step how you can set all of this up. And if you're looking for access to the system prompt that I'm using that took a lot of time to build, then it will be available for free in the no code nation. Hope to see you in there. And with that being said, let's dive right in. All right, guys, so let's get started with this. It's going to be pretty simple build here. And at the end of this, you'll be able to have an SMS go high level agent that can not only book call, not only check availability, but book calls directly into your calendar. First thing is we're going to set up a go high level workflow. I'm just going to call it like go high level SMS agent demo. We're going to add a filter and we're just going to select the reply channel. So I'm setting mine to SMS. If you want to have all of them, you can just leave this blank and we're going to go ahead and save that trigger. And now we're going to copy this test URL. We're going to click on listen for test event. We're going to drop that in right here. And we're, there's a few extra fields that we're going to have to add here. So we got ID. We're going to change name to first name. So contact first name. I'm just renaming this first name. We'll keep email and phone. Another thing we're going to need is the message from the user. So message body. That's going to be the message that's sent. And then we're going to click on send test request. And you should get a request status with 200. You can see workflow has started. And if we come into N8N, we get all of this information, right? The phone number, the ID, the now time, the now date, the message being null. And what we're going to do is just pin that data because we're going to be using it in the next steps. From here, we're going to want to connect it to an AI agent. We're going to change this to define below. And we're going to say user message is equal to the message right here. And we can just drag that in. One thing we want to do before that is flip this into expression and then drag that message in. There we go. And then after that, we're going to add in a system message and then we'll go and paste that in and make sure this is on expression as well. And you can just go ahead and copy paste this from the no code nation community. I'll put this document up there so you have access to it. So now we need to add the chat model. We're going to go with open AI. You can use 4.0 mini or 4.0. I'm going to be using 4.0. So just like that, GPT 4.0. Then we're also going to need to add memory. So window buffer memory, we're going to change this to define below as well, flip it on expression. And then I'm just using the contact ID here because it is unique. Now we have the memory of the AI agent. And then lastly, we need to add in our two HTTP requests. The first one is going to be the check availability one. We say use this tool to check the availability in the calendar. Now, if we pop into the integrations of Go High Level, we look at their API documentation and we scroll down to calendars, get free slots. And now you can see that this is where your calendar ID is. We're going to copy that calendar ID and just paste it in right here in between calendars and free slots. Now, the next thing you'll see is that we need query parameters. We need the start date and the end date. And this is in Unix time format, which is the milliseconds since January 1970. Super random. Not sure why they use that, but that's what we're going to be using today. So in my workflow, you're just going to turn on send query parameters and we're going to add start date and end date just like that. Then from here, we can click on send headers, because if you look at the headers, we're going to need authorization token, so our API key and the version history. So we'll add in authorization, we'll click on using field below, and then the value is going to be bearer space, and then we're going to paste in our API token. Now, this isn't the normal API token um, 
that you have access to, we actually need to go into private integrations. We're going to go create new integration. You're going to give your new API key a specific name. I'm going to call mine target dial two. And then you'll see that we get this list of scopes. So we're just going to click and add in all of these lists of scopes for the whole list here. This is, I don't know, 50 or 100. We're going to add all of them. After that, click create and you get provided with your private integration token. From there, you can just go ahead and paste that in. And then we're going to add a second parameter, which is going to be version using field below and the value. And that's all we need to do to set up check availability. So super simple. Now, after we have check availability set up, we're going to need to set up another HTTP request, which is going to be creating our booking in Go High Level. So we'll rename this to create booking. Awesome. The description is going to be used as tool to create a booking. Now, if we look at calendar events, you'll see that there is this create appointment booking. This is, it's going to be a post request to this specific endpoint. So we'll copy this one this time, head back into here. We'll put it in the URL. We'll also need the authorization token and the version API in the headers. We'll click on using field below. We'll paste in from the previous step and check availability. And then we're also going to need to add the version history right here with the value of 2021-0415. Now, if we go back to our go high level create appointment, you'll see that there are four fields that we need in the body. So we need the calendar ID, the location ID, the contact ID, and the start time. Now, if you look at the start time, it's actually in a different format than what we had in the get free slots. So we're just going to add in those fields. So turn on send body. First one is going to be calendar ID using field below. Now we already have our calendar ID from the previous step. So you're just going to put it in here again. The next parameter we are going to need is the location ID. So in order to get your location ID, you can see it's right up here. So we'll copy that location ID. We'll put it in here. And then we need to add the contact ID. And we'll also use the field below. And since we passed it in our go high level scenario right here, the ID. We already have access to it in the body. So we can just drag that in. And then lastly, we are going to have a respond to webhook node right here. So we're going to change this to text, switch this over to expression, and then just write in JSON output. This is going to be the output from our LLM OpenAI chat model right here. Now, once we have all of that set up, make sure you save your work, by the way, too. We'll hit save. The next thing that we are going to add is the actual response, right? So customer message comes in, we send it out to our AI agent in N8N. It goes, it'll answer any questions that they have, and then it'll output a response. We're gonna click on send SMS. And if we just click down here, you should see custom webhook and then response message. So that's gonna be the message that gets sent. So we actually don't want the message. We just want the custom webhook response like this. So delete the message portion. We'll hit save the action. We can hit save here and we'll just go ahead and publish that. And that this is live. We can just back out and we can actually test this agent. So I'm going to send myself a message right now. So one last thing, guys, that I forgot to change is to switch this from respond immediately to using respond to webhook node. And now everything will work properly. So we'll go ahead, send it a message, right? I sent hello. I responded back with, how are you? And you could see that the output is, I'm doing great, thanks, how about you? Anything exciting happening with your business that I can assist you with? I said, hey, I'm looking to set up voice agents for my business, right? But you could see it's just asked the first qualifying question. And if I meet the qualification criteria, then it's gonna go ahead and try and book me into a call. So this is extremely powerful. You can literally set this up for however many of your clients that you have. And if you self-host N8N, it's gonna cost you like $30 a month to run this. I've seen other solutions running up to $300, crazy expensive. And this is just a super powerful way that you can connect it directly to go high level to be able to do this. So I hope you got immense value out of this. And if you did, I would really appreciate a subscribe. It's free, it helps grow the channel. And with that being said, I hope you have an incredible rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.